Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Going. In our today's video, we will talk about solving one-step equations. So last time, we have discussed some of our topics with regard to decimals, multiplying, addition, subtraction, and even division of decimals. And right now, we will go further with solving linear equations, which are classified as one-step equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. For us to solve these four different items here, we need to use the different properties of equality. So let's start with item number one. In number one, we are given w plus 5 is equal to 7. Again, w plus 5 is equal to 7. We need to find the, val the, the, the value of the w for us to figure out what is the solution or what will make this equation w plus 5 be equal to 7. So let's start. First, we need to eliminate 5. So to eliminate 5, we need to subtract 5 both sides of the equation. So we will subtract 5 here and also here. So I'm doing it vertically. Some of the content creators or some of the people who are solving this kind of an equation, uh, they are doing this horizontally. But in our case, we will do this vertically. So as you can see, 5 plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So it, so what will remain here on the left side of the equation is simply w. Then equal to 7 minus 5, that is equal to 2. Therefore, the solution or the value of this variable w is equal to 2. Now let's move on with the second example. We are given x minus 9 is equal to 10. So as you can see, this one is minus 9. So we need to get the inverse of negative 9, that is positive 9. So what we need to do is to add 9, both sides of the equation. So we have here negative 9 plus 9 is definitely 0. So what will remain here is the variable x. So we will copy x, then equal to 10 plus 9, which is equal to 19. Therefore, guys, the value or the exact value of this variable x to make this be equal to 10 is equal to 19. Now let's proceed with item number 3. In number 3, it has a different format compared to item number 1 and item number 2. What we have here is 2x is equal to 18. So how are we going to eliminate 2 to make it x? So what we need to do is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we can divide this. 2 divided by 2 is 1x, or in other words, we can simply cancel out this one. So what will remain is the variable x. So we have x is equal to 18 divided by 2, and that is equal to 9. Okay? Now, let's go with number 4. For number 4, we are given x over 10 is equal to 5. So what we need to do here is to multiply. As you can see, you have here your 10. So what we need to do is to multiply both sides of the equation by 10 and by 10 so, with, so that we can cancel out this denominator 10 and this one. So what will remain is the variable x and then equal to 5 times 10 that is 50. And this is the solution for item number 4. Now, I hope you learned something from this video and for your task guys, for number 5, I want you to find the solution given this equation x minus 11 is equal to 20. So I hope na makita kong inyong sagot within our comment section. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!